So the new website will be, um, first of all, easier for the public to use. It'll be more user-friendly, but it will have more detailed information in terms of what, uh, what the infraction actually is. So I think that that will provide the public with, uh, uh, with more, more details in terms of what the, what the inspections have actually found. And I, I think that it goes a long way to, uh, to improving the usefulness uh, of the site. So many times people don't know what goes on behind the kitchen doors and so this is an opportunity to find out what's happening back there through viewing uh, inspection reports that have been conducted. So restaurant type facilities range from uh, your restaurant to hospital kitchens to, uh, to caterers to uh, food vendors at a uh, special events and um, hot dog carts and so on. Part of the improvements that we are making is just the way that the public health inspectors will be um, utilizing from their point of view. So now we have tablets that all the public health inspectors will be using. The information that they can provide is, uh, you know, it'll be much easier for them to upload that information and then sync that with the, with the website uh, once the information is ready to go public. Um, there's going to be a lot less time um, used uh, by our public health inspectors in doing paper reports and then obviously the problem that, that goes along with people writing out uh, paper reports is some people's handwriting is maybe better than others and so we won't have the issues with transcribing and, and making sure that the information is, uh, is accurate when it is uh, finally posted online.